Natural carbonation has been difficult. So we have tried to come up with some force carb methods that we can use. And I just thought, let's put a video together. I have never used this, but I know how it works, believe it or not. And I got it from Amazon. I figured let's give it a shot. This is a kit that comes with a pressure regulator, some ho hose tubing, and a connector that goes on the end of a keg. Or I'm, I'm not there yet. Yeah. It also comes with a part for the bottle so that you can attach this to the bottle, just like that, right? It even comes with the gas. Now these are kind of weird, there's 74 grams. So it's a slightly unusual receptor. There are others for smaller ones, but that's a whole different thing. This kit came with two of these. Now, the one caveat to this, the one thing that I don't like, and the reason why I didn't want to go this way, and the reason why SodaStream is not my favorite, and why I didn't want to use a drink mate, is because this, is a plastic bottle. You all know how we feel about plastic. Not a fan. It's a PET plastic bottle. It's made for holding beer. I guess it's one concession that you may have to make if you want to go this way, because I do not recommend doing this into a glass bottle. They're going to blow up. And if it blows up, it's in your hand when it blows up. I cannot see that ending well, no matter what you do. I just, let's not do that. So do not use glass if you are doing this. Notice, See how it flexes? It's plastic. Say it with me. Use plastic. We did sanitize everything though. This goes on your bottle. There's a couple questions on this that I'm not sure on yet. Then we have this setup. Now, right now I have the pressure regulator closed. This is not the best pressure regulator valve to me. It feels a little clunky. There's better ones out there. You can actually make this all stuff yourself. Buy a pressure regulator, buy the end cap, and have some way of putting gas in. Eventually, I think I'm gonna work up to the five pound canisters, but for now, I'm trying out this 74 gram one, see if it works. So we're gonna find out right now if this holds air as I screw this in. You gotta screw it in a little quickly. <laughs> but once it's in there, it does, totally holds, no problem. So what I need to do now is put this on here and I just lift this up and pop it on. Now, this is cold, okay? The liquid in here is cold. It's actually our root beer, uh, root beer mead that we made. So now what I wanna do is open this up and I'm gonna open it significantly. Maybe. Oh, there we go. I'm cranking it. This thing goes to 35. We are past 35. Does it feel like it? Oh yeah. So let me crank that back a little bit because that worries me. And you want to shake this up. That forces the, the carbonation into it. Now, there's two things I want to do here. One is I want to test this immediately and see, did it actually carbonated it, carbonated it, carbonate it that fast? We have a little bit of a leak. It was here. Did it actually carbonate that fast or do I need to let this sit for a while? Because I don't actually know. Did the kit give you any no, indication? No, there's no instructions <laughs> whatsoever with this kit. None, no instructions. So I am your instructions. I am very sorry. Okay, that to me looks like there's some gas in there. There's no way to know. But what I'm gonna do now, it's only been like, what, a minute or so? I'm gonna close it off. So that's totally closed, no more gas coming out, and I should be able to pop this off. She thought it was gonna explode. I don't, <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what to think. And now I'm gonna pour some into a glass and we're gonna see if it carbonated. Because I don't know if it needs time or not. Now here's my question. When I take this off, the carbonation's gonna get released a little bit, so I'm doing this very, very slowly. But normally you would just cap this and then put it on a shelf, right? That's how I would expect to do it. So excess pressure, whoa, it's gonna foam over if you're not careful, so be aware of that. Okay, now I let off the excess. Let's see, did it actually carbonate? Are you watching? I'm going with very, very little, very, very little. A tiny amount. So what that tells me is this has to sit for a while and that's okay because we have more of that root beer right here. 
need the funnel. I need the funnel. That's a really good meat. Yeah, it is. It's got great flavor. It's lovely now it's chilled. I know what you're thinking. Brian, that's a mini keg. How come you're not just doing that? Well, you can, but I wanted to test it in the bottle because ultimately I'd rather be able to bottle this than have to keep a keg going. And that's what I was trying to say. Well, well I'm, and I'm sorry. that's what I was trying to say earlier, but it's okay. This is, this is kind of chaos theory right now. Yeah, we did not have a plan for this video. <laughs> it was kind of a, I just want to do this thing. I want to, I want to test this out. I want to play with my new toy. That's pretty much what this is. Okay, you want to make sure that gets on there. Not like I did it. There we there go. There we go. Now it's on. You hear a snap, apparently. <sighs> and wash, rinse, and repeat. Let me turn this thing again. Like I said, this isn't really the best valve, but it, it does the job. And again, I'm going up to... This is at probably 40 PSI right now. Maybe drop it back just a tiny bit. And what I'm going to do now is just let this sit. I'm probably going to put it in something explosion proof. <laughs> just in case it's too much for the bottle. But the idea is this will sit under pressure now for a few days, and then I'll catch up with you again in a few days and show you how it did. Sorry to interrupt the video, but I wanted to tell you about the City Setting VIP Club. It's a super friendly bunch of brewers who get together and constantly help each other and share information. A large part of it is our private Facebook group where you can ask questions and get help. We also have Zoom meetings monthly for most tiers of membership. These hangouts are a great way to ask questions or just hang out with us and the other members. In addition, the higher tiers get their names right in our videos. So consider becoming a VIP. Now back to the video. All right. So I checked this every couple of days and kept the uh, thing open, you know, the uh, pressure regulator open. And well, this is 74 grams of CO2. There's no pressure left in this. It's only been like five days, okay? People say it takes anywhere from three to seven days to carbonate when you can't get up to super high PSI, like past, say, 30 or so, which this never really did. 30, 35 is about all it really got to. I have some concerns. And then, let me just remove this. It's been in the fridge the entire time. I shook it up a bunch of times, but let me show you something. That's, That's not worrying. Yeah. Plus, I'd also like to make another observation that I learned along the way. Regardless of the fact that he used up the whole 74 grams, which is absurdly stupid, I can only do one bottle at a time. Three to five days to do one bottle, that's a waste. I can't deal with that. So I'm going to have to figure out another way. But just for this purpose, we're going to pour this into this glass and see if it's fizzy at all. So when I unscrewed this, there was no pop, there was no fizz, there was no nothing. Oh, I thought I heard a little hiss. You said nothing. Nothing. Okay. When I poured it, I poured it pretty high to see if it would give everything. There is bubbles coming up. There is bubbles coming up. There was a little bit of, of foam on the top, but it dissipated immediately. But he has the face of non-poker. That's carbonated. It's nicely carbonated. It's not strong carbonation, but it's nicely carbonated. No? I think it is. Mm-hmm. You let that sit in your mouth for a while, you can feel it. It could, it's, all right, it's not strong. It's like midway. It could use a lot more. Yeah. Let's say that. Yeah. It, could, it could use a lot more. Yeah. But there is definitely carbonation to it. Do I think that this method is worthwhile? No. Simply the fact that you have to invest that much to try to semi-carbonate one bottle yeah. at a time. The time and the resources involved in this right. doesn't seem practical. We're yeah. really excited I about this the be concept a nice, simple way, but, and mm. the low cost initially. Yeah. But then when we started thinking about it, the time investment 
and we used that entire cartridge. I didn't. And those aren't cheap. Be. These are like twelve dollars a piece. So twelve bucks to do one model doesn't make sense yeah. to me. Yeah. So plus something else that I thought was very odd when I bought this kit with the two canisters and the whole setup, it was fifty-two dollars. The next day, it was ninety-two dollars for the exact same thing. Ah, that's dirty pool. I don't, I don't like stuff like that. You know, that's just not cool. So do I recommend this? Absolutely not. I, I, I don't. Um, I may scavenge the parts of it for other things that we have in, in store, but um, I, I really wouldn't recommend it as is. However, it did technically carbonate this and it may have technically carbonated in just two days. I didn't actually test that, but the bottle felt hard after two days. But even still, if it takes more than 20 minutes, it's too much for one bottle. It's just... Right. And if it carbonated after two days and it was still sealed and it was in the refrigerator... That means we have a leak or we have flat. a gas permeability problem with the plastic. Yeah. So... Which that is an issue. And um, there was a little bit of a discussion. Somebody was asking me about PET bottles. If you look up PET bottles, you will see sources that say... They are fine for alcohol. Everything about them is good. One to 100% ethanol, no problem. However, they're not fully sealed, okay? There is some permeability, meaning air goes through them, which means over time, your brew is going to change, okay? So there's that. It's a bit, could be minimal, but it is going to change. The other side is there are all sorts of fillers and relaxers and plastic whatever releasers that are put into these bottles and some of those are in the plastic and break down. I am not a scientist. These are just things that I read making me think I still like glass better than plastic. That's the whole gist here. PET, which is what this is, is the best plastic if you're going to store alcohol. My personal opinion is I wouldn't want to store it more than a couple of months. And that's what the synopsis was of all the articles we read over for a vast amount of, of, of research on this to try to get a definitive answer. One, there was there no, was definitive, no answer. definitive answer. Two, short-term storage for alcohol and PET plastic should be fine, yep. but long-term storage more than yeah, likely you don't want to go is years. not. And the gas permeability changes everything for me because I know, okay, to a point, even glass is gas permeable, sure. but it's much, 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 much less permeable, okay? So you're going to have a lot more change within this than you're going to in a glass bottle. Plus, over time, the gases, the CO2, will actually come out. <laughs> so it won't be carbonated anymore anyway, defeating the purpose in using a plastic bottle in the first place. Sure, so if the only thing you have available to you is PET plastic, as long as it's PET plastic, Use it and then just drink it in a timely fashion. Now I know someone will also ask me, what if you what if I did this with a glass bottle? Well, if I did this with a glass bottle, the chances of me not exploding that bottle are probably pretty slim. I can't imagine treating this the way I treated treating a glass bottle the way this was treated and not having some amount of fear of explosion. Just that's me personally. I may be wrong. Maybe they can handle a whole lot more pressure than that. It's not something I would recommend for the average home brewer to do without a very specialized knowledge of it and some way to protect yourself. You know, like a flak jacket or something to protect yourself and your house and your loved ones when you're doing it. Just because if it exploded, 30 PSI is a lot of pressure for glass to be flying at you. Again, the the wrap up here for this video is that we are new to the pressure carb carbonating of beverages. We're trying out many different things and we're sharing that experience with you along the way. So will the good, we the bad, and the expensive. Will we learn something better or will we learn something new about our experience? Yes, and when we do, we'll make sure that you know it as well. Absolutely. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.